How's it going everyone? Thanks for tuning in to Reef Builders video. I'm Jake Adams and I have a really cool video in store for you today. It's the end of the year, so a lot of the major news websites and publications are putting out their year in review articles. And here at Reef Builders, I'm doing the same thing with a fresh new video on the top 10 best new species of fish described in 2016. This list is by no means comprehensive and it really just reflects uh, my favorite fish that were described this year. And so I've downplayed a little bit of the small cryptic gobies that tend to overwhelm the ranks of new species described every year. Also, there's no mention of any sharks or rays or freshwater fish. So this top 10 uh, really is my personal favorite uh, best new species of reef fish described uh, this year in 2016. What's really cool about the species that were described this year is a lot of these fish are aquarium fish and uh, many of them were known to aquarists before they were known to scientists. This is again my personal opinion of the best 10 new species of reef fish described this year and uh, I hope you enjoy. So just to refresh your memory, here's a look at some of the best new fish species of last year, 2015. Again, we got a lot of wrasses, a lot of gobies, uh, a few damselfish and things like that. Um, also, as a word of warning, uh, use mostly the Latin names for most of the fish species uh, described in these videos because it's just impossible to keep up with the common names of all the different fish in many different languages. The first fish up on our list is a beautiful basslet from the deep waters of the Caribbean and particularly Curacao, Lipogramma levinsoni. And what I really love about this fish is that it's a new species that was under our nose the whole time, but we thought it was Lipogramma evides. And um, several years ago, there was just a big explosion of the availability of this fish. And here in this video from Blue Harbor, you can see that this is a dainty, beautiful little basslet. The piping that it uh, retreats into is only about half inch in diameter, so you can imagine how small this fish is. The next fish I want to bring to your attention is Plectranthius takasei. This is a gorgeous little basslet from Japan, and uh, in general, I just have a real soft spot for all the different basslets, and particularly the Plectranthius. This species is also called the Hinomaru uh, perchlet because of that red spot. Um, but as it gets older, it gets these beautiful yellow spots. And uh, I just really love how this fish stands out in its environment, uh, particularly in this cryptic setting. Just such a cool fish. Cyrilabris isosceles is a really iconic and sort of new species of reef fish. It's been in the aquarium hobby for a long time, so I actually have a lot of different pictures of this fish. Um, its appearance can vary quite dramatically depending on the lighting and the aquarium environment. And uh, because it's been an aquarium fish in the spotlight for a while, we already have some documentation of the species hybridizing with uh, related species, this, these being crosses with Cyrilabris lunatus. Every year seems to bring about some new species of fairy wrasse, and this year was no different. In addition to Cyrilabris isosceles, we saw Cyrilabris africanus, a species of fairy wrasse from southern Africa, which actually has been known as the KwaZulu Natal fairy wrasse for some time. If wrasses are well represented in the new species every year, the candy cane hogfish uh, really got a boost in numbers in just the last couple of years. This is Terolabris flavocephalus, and um, there's a handful of species in this genus, but what makes this one special is it has yellow restricted to the head and tail. And by comparison, this is a normal Terolabris rubrovitatus, also known as a candy cane hogfish. Um, this specimen was filmed in the aquarium of Tony Vargas, and uh, this really skinny nature of these fish and these big eyes really give them a lot of personality, make them a really, really cool aquarium specimen. Grammatonotus brienne is a gorgeous new species of reef fish with a beautiful yellow pintail that always makes me think of Apisogramma dwarf cichlids. Uh, this species was discovered just about two years ago at the bone crushing depth of uh, nearly 400 feet in the Philippines by doctors Brian Green and Luis Rocha. And what's cool is we actually have some footage of the dive on which these fish were first discovered. And here they are in the ascent with uh, their diver discoverers um, going through decompression pretty well. 
And you can see these fish look small in pictures, but they're actually medium-sized fish. And uh, there's not that many species in the genus Gramatsonotus. And so the description of G. Brienne uh, increased those numbers by more than 50%. Every year is bound to bring some new species of fairy wrasses, and the same is true for the flasher wrasses. There were several species described, but I chose Pericylinus alfiani because I really love those unfilamented fins. They just have this big flashy nature, as the name implies, these flasher wrasses uh, definitely put on a show. And we're really lucky to have this footage of the Alfian's flasher wrass in the wild, shot by everyone over at Blenny Watcher blog. And um, if you can picture how jerky this video is, how difficult it is to get the species actually framed for a photograph. So every shot of this fish is precious. Before I dive into my top three favorite new species of 2016, I want to give honorable mention to a few other fish which are also worthy of attention. This is Yanoi's sleeper goby, Valenciania Yanoi, just a really big, colorful, showy fish. Next up is the Samurai Wrasse, uh, a new species of Oxykynelinus, also known as Maori Wrasses. Uh, got a beautiful snout and a green opalescent eye. Um, this is a really cool one, Odontanthius kawo. This fish was actually found floating at the surface and dead, and so we have yet to see live specimens. This is Ceranus pulcher, a small dwarf species of basslet from West Africa. Don't let its small color fool you. This fish is a lot of attitude. And right next up with them is Sueviota bryozophyta. This is a dwarf species of gobies that is associated with a bryozoan. And I've already featured Lubrica gobius tunicatus, a species of slipper goby that has an affinity for tunicates. And here it is with some associated species, including Nanus. And there is Tunicatus back there at the top. Uh, Pseudochromus Yamasaki is a new species of dotty back. There's just so many species of these dotty backs with uh, just kind of that same archetype and the fine spotted pattern. Next up is Amblygobius. Uh, I showed these to you a few weeks ago. These are related to the Rainfords and Hector's goby. The Caraphyllus on top looks like a maroon striped version of my link eye goby, and that Calvatus has some nice colors too. Again, the Obama fish was a big sensation this year. Uh, really, really deep water fish that uh, we we'll probably have not yet seen in its prime. And uh, we had some shakeup in the complex of yellow angelfish. Uh, several years ago, Woodhead Eye was described from Heraldi, and that species was resurrected. And uh, along those same lines, uh, Centrophyge flavissima, the lemon peel, was split off from Cococensis, or vice versa. And uh, you'll notice that one of them has a blue eye ring and the other one has a blue iris. Bodianus beneti is a new species of hogfish. We get a lot of new species of wrasses, but large showy hogfish are different. And this species was collected uh, in two different places, first from Tahiti and then from the Coral Sea. And what's really cool about this species of hogfish is a lot of the specimens begin life red and white and uh, over time develop a red and yellow coloration. And it's very similar to Bodianus sanguinus, but also distinct in its own right. My second favorite new species of reef fish this year is Pseudohuloides labyrinthus, the labyrinth pencil wrasse. This species was discovered from Kenya by Jason Edward of Greenwich Aquariums, and uh, it's just a gorgeous species of pencil wrasse. A lot of pencil wrasses have great color, but I really hope to see this species alive in person one day. My favorite new species for 2016 is the ruby dragonette, Syncyropus sycorax. This species of dragonette has a large red body, big beautiful yellow pectoral fins, and the males have this large showy dorsal fin that can't be mistaken for anything else. And even the females and juveniles still have the cute little dorsal fin and those bright yellow pectoral fins that uh, is unmistakable. And uh, just a, a new aquarium favorite that we've enjoyed for the last couple years. So there you have it. That was my review of the top 10 new species of fish described in 2016. Again, I'm biased towards the marine aquarium fish, so I've omitted a lot of the 
of freshwater fish and sharks and rays that were described this year. And again, this is just my opinion. There was a lot of cool new species described this year, um, but it's by no means comprehensive. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really motivates me and encourages me to put more effort into future videos. And if you like what you see, uh, you know, consider hitting the subscribe button so you never uh, miss any of our upcoming videos because I have a lot of cool topics in store. So stay tuned. I've got a lot of great videos on the way. Hope everyone is planning or having or have had a great New Year celebration. And I'll catch you guys next time.